teach you how to do um, shipping with PayPal. So, um, you cannot ship a package if they have not paid their invoice. So, all these unpaid right here, I cannot do a shipping um, on the unpaid. So, um, you cannot do a shipping label on unpaid. So, I've got one right here that has paid. So, I can do her shipping label on the paid one. So, I'm going to click on it. And you see right here where it says print shipping label. Click on it. And then it brings you to this window. And right here where it says priority mail, one to three days. You don't want to click on it because that costs a lot to ship. So click on this and you want to hit first class, two to five days. And then click on this. And I always type um, package, thick envelope. Then you come to package weight. And I bought my little scale right here from Amazon. And um, I wait till it gets to zero, zero, zero. And I'm going to weigh my scale, weigh my package. Let me get it on flat, a flat surface here. Okay, I'm weigh my package. And right there it says 7.6. Okay, now, um, for example, if that says 7.1, you would still go up to 8. No matter if it's 7.1, you would still go up to 8. So, I'm going to go up to 8 because it's 7.4 there. So, I'm going to go up to 8. So, 8... And then I hit calculate shipping cost. And then it ends up being 318. And I charge $4 shipping, so it's okay to be over that amount because you get charged for doing invoices. So I do not feel guilty for overcharging for shipping because um, we get charged for doing invoices by PayPal. So um, I'm okay with charging a little extra for it for shipping because um, of the 2.9 percent charge that we get charged for invoices on paypal so sometimes my shipping sometimes when we just ship out a little bitty item it's it, it, they charge us 266 for that amount and i don't feel guilty because paypal charges us for invoices so i don't feel guilty about that but anyway confirm and pay Then it brings you to this window, and I always just check the. Oh, I shouldn't show that. That's that sh will be illegal. Okay, so I always check the address just to make sure it's going to the right place, and then I print, and it brings it up to this. And I won't show the address, but I hit I hit draft just to save my ink. <laughs> I'm a cheap wad, but I hit draft to save my ink, and then I hit print. And it doesn't matter what kind of paper you have. It doesn't matter if it's purple, pink, blue, whatever. I just hit whatever kind of paper. I, I just put in whatever kind of paper I have at the moment and type it on that. And I'm printing it right now. And that is how you print your shipping label. It has this at the bottom. That's how you get to your, that's how you get your barcode. And then you tape it onto the front of your package here. And I always write the name um, on the inside of my package because I have I do like 30 packages a day when I do my when I do all of my invoicing and I always write their name on the inside of their package right there like that when I'm doing all my invoicing so I can keep up with who's is who's and um, that's how I keep up with what label to put on which package um, I have one time accidentally mailed the wrong package to the wrong person one time and uh, but anyway that's how I keep up with it so anyway that is how you and mail uh, or print out a shipping label. I hope that helps. I hope that all made sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.